What's up guys? I finally got the new Fast and Furious set available at Walmart in my possession. Um, I have to get it through a guy on Instagram and um, didn't charge a lot for these. Pretty much for his time and effort and um, shipping them I paid for I paid twenty dollars for this set. So it's not too bad. Well, here's the first car in this set. One of eight. The 69 Dodge Charger Daytona. This was um, released in the main line. And um, I guess it was in another set that was I didn't see here in the States um, from last year. Um, but this was in the main line over here in the States. This is the 69 Dodge Charger. It, has the Universal Studios um, tempo on this one. The main line didn't. And it's got um, the hood lock tempos in the front. I don't think the main line version of this had this. So um, that's number one. Here's number two. The two fast. Too Furious Toyota Supra and this again it has the Universal Studios um, logo on the side or tempo instead of on the bottom of the car um, so yeah I heard this was the original Toyota Supra from the first movie and they redid it up for the second movie and uh, that's how they got this car, and um, Brian didn't drive this. It was uh, another guy in the movie. So that's the Too Fast, Too Furious car. I wonder if they'll ever um, release the Mitsubishi's from that set, from that movie. Here's number three from the Fast and Furious Six, the '70 Dodge Charger. Um, this is matte black. It's not glossy like. The one in the other movies. Still chrome inside. Chrome seats and then blacked out front. Here's number four in the series, the 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport from the Fast and Furious. I guess that's the fourth installment of the movie. There's the Universal. Let's see where it is on the charger. It's uh, right there. Here is the very cool Fast and Furious, Too Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift car number five in the series it's the Nissan 350z which I've been waiting for and I guess um, collectors are making this the chase piece of the set they're picking these ones up most of all Drift King DK this car in the movie you could barely see the Universal Studios right there Pretty cool car. Can't wait to open this one up. Here's number six in the set from the Fast and Furious. Another cool car, a Buick Grand National. I actually saw this recently at Universal Studios here in Hollywood. It was um, out in the city walk with a um, couple other cars, the uh, Subaru from the Furious 7 movie and um, Roman's Camaro. This one's pretty cool too. Looks a lot like, I believe it's a Boulevard version of the Grand National or a different set, but there's one with real riders and it almost looks the same as this. Here's number seven from the Fast and Furious, the Subaru WRX STI.
cool black. In Furious 7, he had a blue one of these. He jumped from the plane. Nice car. And here is number 8 from Fast 5. The Ford GT40, the one that got them into trouble. Because it had a the drug or the chip from with all the guys um drug stuff <laughs> locations I guess. Here we go, the Ford GT forty. The one that they jacked from the the train. So cool. That's the Fast and Furious eight set. I'll be cracking these as soon as I get another set and hopefully um, I'll find a set at my local Walmart soon. And um, yeah, these are showing up at your Walmarts and they're just regular um, Hot Wheels prices. At 83 cents I, go, I believe they are right now here in Los Angeles. So um, keep a lookout on for these. Alright guys, thanks for watching and check out my other videos. Plenty of Fast and Furious ones. Thank you. Goodbye.